Hello and welcome. Today's project is all about the confusion and frustration behind your anxiety. Anxiety can seem like invisible shackles, right? You're just trying to solve the sensation, the feelings, the emotions, and then behind the scenes, well, we don't even know it's called anxiety, that we have anxiety and that we can actually tame this system down by doing certain strategies and thus will enhance the quality of our life and get us out of this constant, never-ending, problem-solving loop. Because that was my old self. I did not even know I had anxiety. I was just trying to solve whatever, this, my, my misinterpretation of certain feelings and sensations, right? Because, oh, if, if this part of my body is aching, I must have kidney disease. And then I would go on Google and, and then sure enough, that would say, oh, the, there's an ache there, kidney disease, and then that would snowball. But I was trying to solve these outer layers without really solving this deep inner root cause because anxiety, can produce a wide variety of strange, uncomfortable, weird sensations. So let's talk about that confusion today. Now, anxiety, going through this cycle, it was my body's reaction to the amount of novelty that was taking place in my life. So novelty, the uncertainty, the unknown, uh, the unresolved problems of my life. Too many things have gotten beyond me and I can't seem to wrangle them in or solve them. And I was just spiraling down because the more I was spiraling and the more uncertainty that it was accumulating, the more anxiety that was happening in my life. And so this is my ancient system below my unconscious awareness, the alarm bell blaring 24 seven threat, predator threat. Uh, Cause when we are in the uncertainty, so if you're out in the woods and you're hiking and well, you don't have a map anymore and you, you're lost immediately, your anxiety kicks in, right? Because you're in the unknown. And that's the same thing when you're at home, right? If there is too much uncertainty to the to to the amount of too too much uncertainty right here and now, then of course your anxiety will kick in. Now, during high levels of anxiety, so before when I was suffering every day, I, was, I mean I was suffering for months. My mind would go. How do we avoid this suffering, right? How do we avoid this suffering? And so you can see that within yourself. The body moves in response to this question by doing what is most comforting, right? So you go to your loved ones for reassurance. That's comforting. You leave the environment. So you're out at the shopping mall, you're at work, Wherever you are, you leave so that you can go to a more comforting environment and then you engage in numbing agents, weed, alcohol, uh, Netflix, junk food, sex, pornography, very good comforting agents for too much uncertainty, right? So the mind loves the easy route, right? And the mind will go, well, what can solve the problem right here and now? Okay, well, these coping strategies I just mentioned, right? That, but it's only temporary numbing. That's the key here, temporary numbing. And whatever you sweep under the rug, it will come back, it will accumulate. And your anxiety system, because you're feeling so bewildered and anxious and because you're feeling all of these sensations, that's an indicator from your body that there are too many things to underneath the rug to contend with. And so you got to start to solve all of these things, solve these problems, right? And yeah, a lot of people don't want to nowadays 
because it's a lot of emotional, mental effort. But trust me, I went through this effort and it was the best thing I ever did in my life because the quality of my life right now is, it's unbelievable that I'm in this position, that I've healed all of the problems of my past, that I've gotten to this place, that I have adopted these great habits that greatly benefit my mental and physical health. It's, it's extraordinary. You can get there too. So the next thing about anxiety that you should know is that you can feel frustrated with anxiety because no one seems to understand what you're currently going through. Your parents, you know, they give you some words of encouragement or advice and then that just doesn't seem to work and that frustrates you or then your doctor says, oh, you don't have this disease that you thought you had and then you go, okay, that's a good thing, but then you still feel these sensations. And so it seems like you're alone in this universe with anxiety. And I certainly felt like that. I remember one time, this was one of my lowest points. I was rolling on the floor of my home and my parents were around and they thought, you know, I thought that they must think I'm crazy because I'm on the ground literally holding my side saying, oh, what am I going to do? I think I have this kidney problem and like uh, I can't see my doctor until Monday. Oh my God, I, I, how am I going to get through the weekend? And and it was, it was, it was a really tough time in my life. And I felt alone in that scenario. So I hope that my channel has helped you to understand that you are not alone, that it's normal to experience all of these sensations and feelings and that I went through this. And that's the key is to find someone who had the same problem you're going through and overcame the problem so you can relate to the person as well as gather the tools and the knowledge and the wisdom necessary to get past it, right? And that's my aim with this video, but with all of my content. And then now I want to get into why one, one symptom leaves, but then another reappears. So for example, when I would stop ruminating about my UTI, which I thought I had in the past, which I never had. I thought I had a urinary tract infection. And then once I, my emotional reaction around that disappeared, then I would pay attention to this symptom in my side. And then, oh my God, I have kidney disease. So my overall view of Brad was of this person is unhealthy. But you know, I was grasping onto coping strategies to numb that pain rather than peel back the layer and understand my anxiety and the traumas that I went through and to resolve all of the emotional baggage I was carrying, okay? So the root cause needs to be resolved. And so understanding your anxiety system is necessary and what's producing these sensations is your anxiety system. So once I start, once I noticed that, okay, two things here, really important. One, you have stacked emotional baggage within you. Unresolved, unrealized emotional baggage has been stacked up, okay? Too many problems, too many snakes to contend with. And that's a big problem. You might have done something to somebody, cheated, hurt somebody physically, emotionally. You could have gone through a, a bad relationship. Someone could have betrayed you. Someone could have cheated on you. Uh, uh, you could have experienced a lot of physical abuse. You could have adopted a lot of negative beliefs from your parents growing up. There's a lot of things unresolved there. A lot of things you need to heal from so that you can move forward. Okay, but then the other thing here is that you need to change your lifestyle around now. So what are you doing currently 
daily that you would like to stop doing, but you just can't seem to stop doing. What, like, for me, it was going out and smoking weed with my friend. It was uh, eating a lot of pizza, pasta. It was, uh, you know, um, uh, pornography. It was uh, smoking too much weed. It was staying in an unfulfilled job. It was being in a toxic relationship. So there was a lot of problems, right? So one of those things, like, see, I take out the toxic relationship, right? Well, that's producing like a whole host of problems in and of itself. So take the toxic relationship and then take the pornography, take the weed and then take the ne take the unfulfilling job and all of these things. And then each one has like five snakes attached to it. So now like, Obviously, looking back, oh my God, of course my life was so chaotic. Of course I was anxious all the time. I, I was just, you know, I was like in the unknown all the time. And it makes sense. At the time, it was all I knew. Chaos was all I knew for a long damn time. Okay, so take this with you. Take this video with you. Make sure to watch the video I linked below to help you better understand what's behind your anxiety. But to conclude, just know this. Tackling the root cause is what's really going to heal you. Now, Carl Jung, the famous clinical psychologist says, what you need the most is found where you least want to look. So you don't want to contend with the traumas of your past. I understand that, but you have to, you have to work up the courage and bravery in order for you to heal and move forward and to better yourself. That's it. Okay, so tackle the root cause, change your behaviors first, because that's more sophisticated than just changing your thought patterns right away. You know, just, you know, take the behaviors of your day and change your behaviors, change your lifestyle around, introduce meditation, uh, journaling, uh, hot baths, uh, you know, reading, time away from Netflix and just spending time maybe walking outside in nature, just changing that will greatly reduce your anxiety, thus reduce all, all of your symptoms, but then also confronting the emotional, the stacked emotional unresolved things of your past, okay? Big, big, big. And that's where I'm going to leave you today on this video. Thank you so much. Please leave your comments below if I missed anything or if anything resonated with you, any tactics or tools that you do, leave them below because you just might help somebody else. This is a recovery community, so I wanna hear what you have to say. Lastly, move beyond anxiety. I will see you on the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to leave your comments below, subscribe so that you'll be the first to know whenever I release a new video, and rise above anxiety. I'll see you next time.